How lonely sits the city that once had many people. She has become like a widow who was once great among the nations. She who was a princess among the provinces has become a forced laborer. She weeps bitterly in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks, she has no one to comfort her among all her lovers. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her, they have become her enemies. Judah has gone into exile out of affliction and harsh servitude, she lives among the nations, but she has not found a resting place, all those who pursued her have overtaken her in the midst of distress. The roads of Zion are in mourning because no one comes to an appointed feast. All her gates are deserted, her priests groan, her virgins are worried, and as for Zion herself, it is bitter for her. Her adversaries have become her masters, her enemies are secure, for the Lord has caused her grief because of the multitude of her wrongdoings, her little ones have gone away as captives led by the enemy. All of her splendor is gone from the daughter of Zion, her leaders have become like deer that have found no pasture, and they have fled without strength from the pursuer. In the days of her affliction and homelessness Jerusalem remembers all her treasures that were hers since the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the adversary and no one helped her. The adversaries saw her, they laughed at her ruin. Jerusalem sinned greatly, therefore she has become an object of ridicule. All who honored her despise her because they have seen her nakedness, even she herself groans and turns away. Her uncleanness was in her garment seams, she did not think of her future. So she has fallen in an astonishing way, she has no comforter. See, Lord, my affliction, for the enemy has honored himself. The adversary has stretched out his hand over all her precious things, for she has seen the nations enter her sanctuary, the ones whom you commanded that they were not to enter your congregation. All her people groan, seeking bread, they have given their treasures for food to restore their lives. See, Lord, and look, for I am despised. Is it nothing to all you who pass this way? Look and see if there is any pain like my pain which was inflicted on me, with which the Lord tormented me on the day of his fierce anger. From the height he sent fire into my bones, and it dominated them. He has spread a net for my feet, he has turned me back, he has made me desolate, faint all day long. The yoke of my wrongdoings is bound, by his hand they are woven together. They have come upon my neck, he has made my strength fail. The Lord has handed me over to those against whom I am not able to stand. The Lord has thrown away all my strong men in my midst, He has called an appointed time against me to crush my young men, The Lord has trodden as in a winepress the virgin daughter of Judah. For these things I weep, my eyes run down with water, Because far from me is a comforter, one to restore my soul. My children are desolate because the enemy has prevailed. Zion stretches out with her hands, there is no one to comfort her, the Lord has commanded regarding Jacob that those around him become his adversaries, Jerusalem has become a filthy thing among them. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his command, hear now, all peoples, and see my pain, my virgins and my young men have gone into captivity. I called to my lovers, but they deserted me, my priests and my elders perished in the city while they sought food to restore their strength themselves. See, Lord, for I am in distress, my spirit is greatly troubled, my heart is overturned within me, for I have been very rebellious. In the street the sword has made women childless, in the house it is like death. They have heard that I groan, there is no one to comfort me, all my enemies have heard of my disaster, they are joyful that you have done it. Oh, that you would bring the day which you have proclaimed, so that they will become like me. May all their wickedness come before you, and deal with them just as you have dealt with me for all my wrongdoings. 
For my groans are many and my heart is faint. How the Lord has covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger. He has hurled the glory of Israel from heaven to earth, and has not remembered his footstool in the day of his anger. The Lord has destroyed, he has not spared all the settlements of Jacob. In his wrath he has overthrown the strongholds of the daughter of Judah, he has hurled them down to the ground, he has profaned the kingdom and its leaders. In fierce anger he has cut off all the strength of Israel, he has pulled back his right hand from the enemy. And he has burned in Jacob like a flaming fire consuming on all sides. He has bent his bow like an enemy, his right hand is positioned like an adversary, and he has killed everything that was pleasant to the eye. In the tent of the daughter of Zion he has poured out his wrath like fire. The Lord has become like an enemy. He has engulfed Israel, he has engulfed all its palaces, he has destroyed its strongholds and caused great mourning and grieving in the daughter of Judah. And he has treated his tabernacle violently, like a despised garden, he has destroyed his appointed meeting place. The Lord has caused the appointed feast and Sabbath in Zion to be forgotten, and he has despised king and priest in the indignation of his anger. The Lord has rejected his altar, he has repudiated his sanctuary, he has handed over the walls of her palaces to the enemy. They have made a noise in the house of the Lord as on the day of an appointed feast. The Lord determined to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. He has stretched out a line, he has not restrained his hand from destroying, and he has caused rampart and wall to mourn, they have languished together. Her gates have sunk into the ground, he has destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her leaders are among the nations, the law is gone. Her prophets, too, find no vision from the Lord. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit on the ground and are silent. They have thrown dust on their heads, they have put on sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes fail because of tears, my spirit is greatly troubled. My heart is poured out on the earth because of the destruction of the daughter of my people, when little ones and infants languish in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, Where is grain and wine? As they faint like a wounded person in the streets of the city, as their lives are poured out in their mother's arms. How shall I admonish you? What shall I compare to you, daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I liken to you as I comfort you? virgin daughter of Zion. For your collapse is as vast as the sea, who can heal you? Your prophets have seen for you worthless and deceptive visions, and they have not exposed your wrongdoing so as to restore you from captivity, but they have seen for you worthless and misleading pronouncements. All who pass along the way clap their hands in ridicule at you, they hiss and shake their heads at the daughter of Jerusalem, is this the city of which they said, perfect in beauty, a joy to all the earth? All your enemies have opened their mouths wide against you, they hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, We have engulfed her. This certainly is the day which we awaited, we have reached it, we have seen it. The Lord has done what he determined, he has accomplished his word which he commanded from days of old. He has torn down without sparing, and he has helped the enemy to rejoice over you, he has exalted the might of your adversaries. Their heart cried out to the Lord, You wall of the daughter of Zion, let your tears stream down like a river day and night, give yourself no relief, let your eyes have no rest. Arise, whimper in the night at the beginning of the night watches, pour out your heart like water before the presence of the Lord, raise your hands to Him for the life of your little ones who languish because of hunger at the head of every street. See, Lord, and look. With whom have you dealt this way? Should women really eat their children, the little ones who were born healthy? Should priest and prophet really be killed in the sanctuary of the Lord? On the ground in the streets lie young and old, my virgins and my young men have fallen by the sword. You have put them to death on the day of your anger, you have slaughtered, without sparing. You called as on the day of an appointed feast my terrors on every side, 
and there was no one who survived or escaped on the day of the Lord's anger. As for those whom I brought forth healthy and whom I raised, my enemy annihilated them. I am the man who has seen misery because of the rod of his wrath. He has driven me and made me walk in darkness and not in light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me repeatedly all the day. He has consumed my flesh and my skin, he has broken my bones. He has besieged and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me live in dark places, like those who have long been dead. He has walled me in so that I cannot go out, he has made my chain heavy. Even when I cry out and call for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has blocked my ways with cut stone, he has twisted my paths. He is to me like a bear lying in wait, like a lion in secret places. He has made my ways deviate, and torn me to pieces, he has made me desolate. He bent his bow and took aim at me as a target for the arrow. He made the arrows of his quiver enter my inward parts. I have become a laughingstock to all my people, their song of ridicule all the day. He has filled me with bitterness, he has made me drink plenty of wormwood. He has also made my teeth grind with gravel, he has made me cower in the dust. My soul has been excluded from peace, I have forgotten happiness. So I say, my strength has failed, and so has my hope from the Lord. Remember my misery and my homelessness, the wormwood and bitterness. My soul certainly remembers, and is bent over within me. I recall this to my mind, therefore I wait. The Lord's acts of mercy indeed do not end, for His compassions do not fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I wait for Him. The Lord is good to those who await Him, to the person who seeks Him. It is good that he waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. Let him sit alone and keep quiet, since he has laid it on him. Let him put his mouth in the dust, perhaps there is hope. Let him give his cheek to the one who is going to strike him, let him be filled with shame. For the Lord will not reject forever. For if he causes grief, then he will have compassion in proportion to his abundant mercy. For he does not afflict willingly or grieve the sons of mankind. To crush under one's feet all the prisoners of the land. To deprive a man of justice in the presence of the Most High. To defraud someone in his lawsuit, of these things the Lord does not approve. Who is there who speaks and it comes to pass? unless the Lord has commanded it. Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that both adversity and good proceed? Of what can any living mortal, or any man, complain in view of his sins? Let's examine and search out our ways, and let's return to the Lord. We raise our heart and hands toward God in heaven. We have done wrong and rebelled, you have not pardoned. You have covered yourself with anger and pursued us, you have slain and have not spared. You have veiled yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can pass through. You have made us mere refuse and rubbish in the midst of the peoples. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. Panic and pitfall have come upon us, devastation and destruction. My eyes run down with streams of water because of the destruction of the daughter of my people. My eyes flow unceasingly, without stopping. Until the Lord looks down and sees from heaven. My eyes bring pain to my soul because of all the daughters of my city. My enemies without reason hunted me down like a bird. They have silenced me in the pit and have thrown stones on me. Waters flowed over my head, I said, I am cut off. I called on your name, Lord, 
out of the lowest pit. You have heard my voice, do not cover your ear from my plea for relief, from my cry for help. You came near on the day I called to you, you said, do not fear. Lord, you have pleaded my soul's cause, you have redeemed my life. Lord, you have seen my oppression, judge my case. You have seen all their vengeance, all their schemes against me. You have heard their reproach, Lord, all their schemes against me. The lips of my assailants and their talk are against me all day long. Look at their sitting and their rising, I am their mocking song. You will repay them, Lord, in accordance with the work of their hands. You will give them shamelessness of heart, your curse will be on them. You will pursue them in anger and eliminate them from under the heavens of the Lord. How dark the gold has become, how the pure gold has changed. The sacred stones are spilled out at the corner of every street. The precious sons of Zion, weighed against pure gold, how they are regarded as earthenware jars, the work of a potter's hands. Even jackals offer the breast, they nurse their young, but the daughter of my people has proved herself cruel, like ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the infant clings to the roof of its mouth because of thirst, the children ask for bread, but no one breaks it for them. Those who used to eat delicacies are made to tremble in the streets, those who were raised in crimson clothing embrace garbage heaps. For the wrongdoing of the daughter of my people is greater than the sin of Sodom, which was overthrown as in a moment, and no hands were turned toward her. Seven her consecrated ones were purer than snow, they shined more than milk, they were more ruddy in body than pearls of coral, their form was like lapis lazuli. Their appearance is darker than soot, they are not recognized in the streets, their skin is shriveled on their bones, it is dry, it has become like wood. Better off are those killed by the sword than those killed by hunger, for they waste away, stricken by the lack of the produce of the field. The hands of compassionate women boiled their own children, they became food for them due to the destruction of the daughter of my people. The Lord has expended his wrath, he has poured out his fierce anger, and he has kindled a fire in Zion, and it has consumed its foundations. The kings of the earth did not believe, nor did any of the inhabitants of the world, that the adversary and the enemy would enter the gates of Jerusalem. Because of the sins of her prophets and the wrongdoings of her priests, who have shed in her midst the blood of the righteous. They wandered, blind, in the streets, they were defiled with blood, such that no one could touch their garments. Keep away. Unclean, they cried out of themselves. Keep away, keep away, do not touch. For they distanced themselves as well as wandered, people among the nations said, they shall not continue to reside with us. The presence of the Lord has scattered them, he will not continue to look at them, they did not honor the priests, they did not favor the elders. Yet our eyes failed, looking for help was useless, at our observation point we have watched for a nation that could not save. They hunted our steps so that we could not walk in our streets, our end drew near, our days were finished for our end had come. Our pursuers were swifter than the eagles of the sky, they chased us on the mountains, they waited in ambush for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils, the Lord's anointed, was captured in their pits, of whom we had said, in his shadow we shall live among the nations. Rejoice and be joyful, daughter of Edom, who lives in the land of Uz, but the cup will pass to you as well, you will become drunk and expose yourself. The punishment of your wrongdoing has been completed, daughter of Zion, he will no longer exile you. But he will punish your wrongdoing, daughter of Edom, he will expose your sins. Remember, Lord, what has come upon us, look, and see our disgrace. Our inheritance has been turned over to strangers, our houses to foreigners. 
We have become orphans, without a father, our mothers are like widows. We have to pay for our drinking water, our wood comes to us at a price. Our pursuers are at our necks, we are worn out, we are given no rest. We have submitted to Egypt and Assyria to get enough bread. Our fathers sinned, and are gone, it is we who have been burdened with the punishment for their wrongdoings. Slaves rule over us, there is no one to rescue us from their hand. We get our bread at the risk of our lives because of the sword in the wilderness. Our skin has become as hot as an oven, because of the ravages of hunger. They violated the women in Zion, the virgins in the cities of Judah. Leaders were hung by their hands, elders were not respected. Young men worked at the grinding mill, and youth staggered under loads of wood. Elders are absent from the gate, young men from their music. The joy of our hearts has ended, our dancing has been turned into mourning. The crown has fallen from our head, woe to us, for we have sinned. Because of this our heart is faint, because of these things our eyes are dim. Because of Mount Zion which lies desolate, jackals prowl in it. You, Lord, rule forever, your throne is from generation to generation. Why will you forget us forever? Why do you abandon us for so long? Restore us to you, Lord, so that we may be restored, renew our days as of old. Unless you have utterly rejected us and are exceedingly angry with us.